Hello and welcome to the latest episode of New Belt Day Review. I am Serge Moore. We've got a really cool review today because we're going to do a comparison between a All-Atlantic AEW belt and a International AEW belt. Both made by MA Championship Belts. My friend Muhammad Ali had this one for sale on his Facebook and I went ahead and asked him to send it to me so we could review his latest effort. This is an SD version, so remember, an HD version, you would definitely get a much, much more detailed plate, but this is still a huge improvement from the AEW Atlantic, All Atlantic, that I ordered from him years ago when the belt first debuted. So he made it with the best art he could find and didn't really know what the size of it was. And I'll say, the one I got back then, I knew back then it was probably a little bit too big. Let me show you. This is the All Atlantic. I have already a review. There's a review for this on um, my channel if you want to take a look. But you can see this is a really, really big, big belt. Um, he did a great job on it. To be honest with you, I've tried to compare the art on this one and that one, and there's not really much, many differences but you'll see the differences when we show them. But this is the All Atlantic I got back then and you can see the size was just really big belt. I don't, I don't. I think this would like cover Orange Cassidy, like seriously. So that was the All Atlantic, has a nice backing. And then this is the International. And I gotta tell you, the leather is totally different. On that one, it's a lot stiffer. His new leather is just amazing. This is the same leather that I got from him on that oval intercontinental, which is amazing. His leather work is just second to none, second to none. But as you can see, this is really soft, but you can see the size much closer to the real belt. So let's go ahead and get these down. I, I'm sorry, Beth. Oh, seriously? Yeah, the floor I don't have again? anywhere else to do them. The table is still being used for another project, I so know. I'm gonna How have to do it on the floor. project. Sorry, well, I'm gonna have I'm to sorry. send you if a you, table. You want to get me a yeah. table? I'll put it back there. Send me a table. I'm, I'm gonna have to send you something. We can't keep doing. I'm this. sorry. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's compare these two titles, both made by M A Championship belts. Let's go. All right, everyone, here we are. We have the, let's gonna start with this international. This is the newest one I received from MA Championship Belts. He told me when he was uh, sending it to me, he said, trust me, man, it's fully loaded. And I'll tell you, it's obviously, you know, you, we get spoiled nowadays with the HD and you can tell this is not HD, but the art is so much more on point. I just love the details on this belt. I really do. He said he got some uh, CZs in there. They look pretty good. They look shiny. And then the side plates are excellent. Very well done. Let's go to the other side. And you can see again intricate design inside this is one of those belts that i was like man i'm not gonna replace it until they release an official replica you know but then i've read in certain places that they're not planning on releasing any other replicas in any time in the near future so i said well what the hell let's update it all right so now you've seen the international let's uh move up to the big boy and you can see the difference in the size Maybe not so much on camera, but man, in person, this uh, All Atlantic is one heavy sucker. And you can see these are not CZs, not the same shine that you get over here. Look at that, right? You can tell the difference. Now, if you look uh, real close here, you're gonna see these flags. They look a little flat on the All-Atlantic. 
but on the international he's really upgraded look at that the details make it pop much better and I've had this uh, all Atlantic on display for a couple of years and I'm, I've been fine with it didn't feel an urgency to change it now something else you'll see is a, a difference here is the blue inside the uh, globes here looks a little different it's a little different shade of blue which this is actually the correct shade of blue on this new international this one was a little too dark but you can see even the logo here a lot more crisp I like that word it's a lot more crisp on that one let's see the art on these guys let's see well, Yeah, a lot more detail on the new one. It just shows you the difference. I've said this many times when I'm comparing these belts. You can see the difference from art, where they get the art for these new belts when they first come out. They do the best they can, and it wasn't bad. I mean, as you can see, this is still a really nice belt. It's just not accurate. And the new one is a lot more accurate. I've seen, of course, I've seen some HD ones where this right here pops out. That's amazing. I'm just hoping they release an official replica for this someday. But for what I paid Muhammad, I mean, I can't complain. Now, the leather on these... Well, let me see one more thing here. You see the... The globe is still that blue, which is wrong. The blue on this one is much better. And I think the art on the actual map is a little different too. I think that's more accurate. But I was going to say earlier, before I rudely interrupted myself, that the leather, you can see the difference in the leather from this belt he made me about two years ago to this belt. And this is uh, a lot softer, a lot more flexible. This one um, was not. It's a little thicker, but I think that's because it has that fabric on the back with that print might make it feel a little thicker but I think the, the strap itself is just thicker and uh, you see that yeah it's a much different thickness on this one than the other one but both look great both feel great but this one is a lot softer the curve is better on his original one this one's a little flat, but again, I think that's more accurate. So is this a huge improvement going from the inter, well, I'm sorry, the all Atlantic to the international? Yeah, they're both SD. There are a lot of improvements on the new belt. And the stones are better. The leather, I think, is better. So, all in all, I think it's an A-plus for my upgrade. So, let's finish this video up. We'll do a over-the-shoulder test on both of them and see which one passes that. And then we'll finish up. And, oh, also, by the way, this uh, All Atlantic, I've had it on sale now. I've uh, put it in a few of the Facebook groups a couple of times. But if anybody's interested, it is for sale. All right, let's finish this bad boy up. All right, everyone, we are back here in the cathedral. Let's do the over the shoulder test and then wrap this one up. We're gonna start, let's start with, uh, 
<laughs> the All Atlantic. It's a big boy. Let's see how this over the shoulder test does. I did this, I think, already. I think I've already reviewed this. So it was a different backing on it back then. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Feels pretty good. Still better than anything WWE Shop would have released. Zing. But that's not saying much. Now this one. <laughs> you cannot find floppier leather than what Muhammad makes. Okay. And it feels so much better. It's not so heavy. About the right size. Let's get this one up. Do I need a hernia? Be careful, I'm, old man. Jesus. So there you go. That's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and more than anything, thank you for watching. And like I always say, get the hell out of here. It's late at night and I got VR games to play by myself. I need to make some friends. Have a good one, everybody. Search more. Oh!